such serious things which are mentioned about this gentleman who has three charge sheets pending against him by the CBI for leaking our defense secrets, etc. But it appears that no fresh FIR is registered on the basis of all these revelations which have come. <coughs> Edmund Allen, in his letter, has attached emails. One of them is from this man's wife, Anna Neskew Verma, in which she says that we have been the middlemen in this, in this uh, Scorpion deal. This is at page 23 of this note, in which she says, this is 23rd September 2011, she mentions that Indian Navy has recently issued an RFI for the prestigious LPD landing platform deck platform program that is one of their priority projects of procurement. <coughs> and she says, <coughs> besides this project, she expresses interest in being the middle man for this project. And then she says, besides this project, we would also wish to speak to you about Indian Navy's Project 75, which is the Scorpion, which is for construction of six diesel-powered submarines for induction in 2020. We are quite well versed with the said project, and in 2005, we had effect effectively assisted tallies in the sales of six Scorpion submarines to the Indian Navy. And <coughs> all this evidence he details this uh, Allen's first letter of, uh, which is of uh, August, 25th August. This is that letter of 25th August of Allen, which is, starts at page 11. And in this he details everything. He says, if you go to page 12, he says, my email dated 4th September 2012 to the CBI with the subject Official Secrets Act, Evidence Part 8, OSA violations by Commodore Ranava attaching two files. The first is titled Evidence, Verma and Company OSA <coughs> violations and the second is titled Naval Consultant PDF. You will note from the evidence attached to this mail that this clearly proves that on 14th October 2011, Abhishek Verma, using his email id manager at intercompanymail.com and attaches a file titled Briefing Note Project 75 and LPD from consultant so and so, which has minutes of the meeting of the Defense Acquisition Council chaired by the then Defense Minister, as identified by a journalist who visited me here, the minutes carry something called the Krishnamurti report on the Scorpion submarines, the very submarines whose details were leaked to the Australian media. The journalist also told me that possession of this document would attract the strictest penalties under OSA, etc., etc. I have, we have not attached the minutes of that meeting because they, they may be sensitive uh, things. We have advisedly removed that from that letter, but he had sent it to the Prime Minister, the minutes as revealed by Abhishek Verma and as leaked by Abhishek Verma itself. Thereafter, this Alan sends another letter to the Prime Minister and that letter is at page is at page 54, an actually, and this is a letter dated 16 September 2016, in which he details in great detail and sends the entire CD containing photographs, etc., as to how a large number of defense, very very senior defense personnel, have been compromised by <coughs> escort girls and escort service, including this. BJP MP, who was a member of the Defense uh, Consultative Committee. Now, in the light of all this, in the light of all this information which the government has had at least since 
Immediately after this government came into office, you see, I can understand the Congress was thoroughly involved in this corrupt scorpion deal and the Congress did everything that they could to bury this deal and ensure that this matter is not investigated by the CBI. We filed a petition in the Delhi High Court seeking for a proper investigation into the deal because Outlook had published five cover stories. Five cover stories about this deal containing uh, large number of emails, large number of details of phone call records, photographic evidence, etc., showing that this Abhishek Verma was the middleman in this deal, 4% commissions had been paid in this deal, etc. Despite that, the Delhi High Court did order the CBI to register a PE. But you see, a PE is not a legal FIR. And in the absence of that, the CBI cannot seek any information about emails, etc., from the service providers like Gmail, etc. And therefore, they never sought that information and they came back to the High Court and said that we have not found any evidence. Obviously, they will not find any evidence because they have no power to investigate in the absence of an FIR. So, Congress did everything to bury this matter, but what is surprising is, BJP government comes into office in May 2014. In May 2014 itself, 30th May 2014, this, uh, uh, the then member investigations of Central Board of Direct Taxes directly under the Finance Ministry of the government, writes a letter to the CBI saying that we have full evidence showing that this man is involved in huge kickbacks, defense, uh, as a defense middleman in a large number of deals, he has been dealing with blacklisted companies, etc. He has amassed thousands of crores of money, but nothing, nothing is done, no new, no fresh FIR, nothing at all. And eventually, as Yogenji pointed out, very recently this government goes, despite the fact that this Parikar on 10th of this month makes a statement saying that Mujhe pata hai ki scorping deal mein dalali khai gai. Mujhe pata hai ki helicopter deal mein dalali khai gai. Agar unko pata hai ki scorping deal mein dalali khai gai, to सरकार का तो बिल्कुल रूल ये कहता है कि दलाल हो नहीं सकता डिफेंस कॉन्ट्रैक्ट्स में और अगर दलाल किसी ने एम्प्लॉय किया किसी कंपनी ने तो फिर उसको तुरंत ब्लैकलिस्ट कर दिया जाएगा कोई ब्लैकलिस्टिंग नहीं करती और उसी कंपनी से आपने एक इतनी बड़ी डील कर दी 58,000 करोड़ की और उसके बारे में भी हमने बताया है कि पहले ये कहा गया कि 126 हवाई जहाज, 126 एयरक्राफ्ट्स विल बी परचेज फॉर 90,000 करोड़ एंड इवेंटुअली द डील इज 36 एयरक्राफ्ट्स फॉर 58,000 करोड़ व्हिच इज मोर देन डबल द प्राइस पर एयरक्राफ्ट इंस्टेड ऑफ बाइंग द एयरक्राफ्ट एट अबाउट 800 करोड़ पर एयरक्राफ्ट for less than 800 crores, 700 crores per aircraft, you have now bought the aircraft at 1600 crores per aircraft. And there is no transparency about the price negotiations in this deal. Therefore, we have said, these are our demands. We say that the government should order an immediate FIR, registration of an immediate FIR against Abhishek, Verma and Thalys for payment of commission in the Scorpion submarine deal because till date not even an FIR has been registered despite so much evidence being in existence, despite fresh evidence that this Edmunds Allen has given, this Annan SQ's letter etc. admitting that yes they were the middlemen in this deal. Number two, that an FIR against Abhishek Verma and his associates as well as officers of the Navy and Air Force named in these documents for leaking defense secrets, including details of the Scorpion summary. Three, government must come clean on the price negotiations for Rafael aircraft from the beginning till date. They must reveal the entire sequence right from the beginning when this negotiation started as to what were the price negotiations for this aircraft. Four, that the government must blacklist immediately when the defense minister is himself saying that 
these people employed middlemen and paid commissions, then clearly the government rules require that this company must be blacklisted, Thalys must be blacklisted for violating the government's policy. And lastly, that the government orders a credible investigation into the charge made by Allen along with photographs of a member of the parliamentary consult defense consultative committee being compromised by these arms, arms dealers through women's escorts. Not merely this member of parliament, large number of defense officers. <coughs> if you read his second letter to the prime minister, which is of September, he has not merely written about this member of parliament, he has written about a large number of senior officers of, of Navy, Air Force, etc., who have been similarly compromised through these escort services, etc. So therefore, this is a very, very, very serious matter. Our entire defense security is at stake. We have purchased <coughs> submarines for 18,000 crores, which have, according to various experts, which have become dead ducks as a result of the leak of this sensitive information, etc., that we are dealing with the same company purchasing aircrafts worth 58,000 crores from the same company which, which was which the government knows and claims had employed middlemen and paid commissions etc. 